the outside but he will attack you from the inside and the way he does that is very subtle he goes into all the religions he's been working like this from day one so you believe in the devil existence existence of the devil he, yes he's a master of disguise where did you learn about the devil that's what we were talking about weren't we i wasn't there sorry i wasn't there <laughs> So where did you learn about the devil? Okay, so the devil, we, we've been taught from our scriptures, but also... No, no, which, which scripture? Um, he's mentioned in the Quran. He's no, no, which scripture did you learn it from? Um, he's mentioned in the Injil, the Torah, the Bible. But we see his reality around us anyway, don't we? In, in, in no, no, but, but then you're borrowing from other religions. So you, so you must, you must accept those other, the sources where you got the information about the devil from to be true, right? Yes. Okay. So your source of information is religions you don't believe in. Am I right? Okay. So So you pick and choose what you like and yes. you discard what you dislike. No, 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 good good point. So I was associated with organized religion. Which one? Um I've left I've lived a world. Why are you so reluctant to say which religion? No, you know you watched the film Life of Pi, yeah? Yeah, but forget Life films. I, I think you shouldn't be living in the Hollywood world. Come to reality. Yeah. Which religion were you associated with? Okay, so I've dabbled with many different ones, okay? I've your parents, what did your parents... I see the same game played in all of them, and I see the devil sitting in, inside all of them now. What religion did your parents follow? I was brought up Hindu. Hindu, okay, so say so. There's yeah. nothing wrong in that, okay? Yeah. No need to be shy. I know there are many... Yeah aren't many Hindus in Speaker's no, Corner, no, no. okay? Yeah. I know you mentioned the Injil, you mentioned the Quran, you mentioned the Torah, but you, you never mentioned the Bhagavad Gita, or the Ramayana, no, or the Mahabharata. Because I found, no, that's right. No, Why I is that? Because of the way creature it does. worship. Say again? Creature worship? Which, which? Meaning, a hun, you know, a monkey god, and then you had the elephant god, and, and so on and so on, and so many gods. Well, I didn't know which one to worship. Okay, so you and were confused were, about that. Creature worship. Okay. What is uh, Satan in Hinduism? What is he called? Um, right, so this is where it. Okay, for the sake of brevity, um, like this, the Shiva, the destroyer, yeah. you've got Kali Mama. See, this is where I see the devil obscured within many different gods. And, um, in Hinduism? In, in all religions, actually, um, I find that he's well, the, the Abrahamic made faith, himself a god. The Abrahamic faiths do not believe that. They believe in one god, not yeah. many gods. And that's in Abrahamic I'm faith, they yeah. do not believe that Satan is made god. In fact, he was actually booted out of uh, uh, agree, paradise. Yeah. Yes. So, so he wasn't even as, aspiring to be god. Because he already acknowledged that he's a creation and he's got no power nowhere near god. Because he, in fact, asked God in Islam, you know, when he actually uh, misled Adam and Eve, yeah. he asked God to give him life until the end of time. Yes, until, sorry, until the Qiyam at least, like, until, until the end. So that he can deceive people. And Allah accepted that challenge from him. He said that those people who are true to their belief, they will not listen to you regardless of what fitna or what... Uh, mischief that you you, 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 uh, you you bring upon them yeah. yes so they will stay true to their belief and they will believe in god regardless of your mischief and the satan actually said yes i will take many of them away so i don't know maybe maybe in hinduism it might be a bit different yeah. what, what do you call satan in hinduism what is his name his avatar what is it does he have one well, this is what I mentioned, like he becomes as Shiva, Kali Mama. So you think Shiva came as a Satan? Well, this is it. Shiva's, she's Shiva the destroyer. Yeah. Now, obviously, when, when you're in Hinduism, we're taught that it's, it's a god that is a lot. Of course, yeah. You, you do believe it. But when you Hindus. look into and you see all the heads and the gruesomeness. Well, he's a destroyer, right? Yeah. The clue is there. Yeah. Things have um, to be destroyed, don't they? Yeah, everything gets destroyed one day. And in such a... So it's you know, not really considered uh, like an evil thing. It's a part of the role of reality. Well, not necessarily, because when you see the image, you see all the heads, you've seen the depictions. It's gruesome of a chocolate head you know in his hand and you know the sword trust is... trust me if you read revelation in the bible and you'll see jesus a sword coming out from his mouth yes and he'll be wearing 
robes of blood, crimson, red, depicting blood, and he will make all his enemies his footstools. You will see the same thing like Shiva did destroy. Right, but this is symbolic, it's not to be taken. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. They wouldn't say symbolic. Jesus literally will meet judgment upon the people the and he will rule for a thousand years with an iron rod right so the sword is the word of god see this is interesting see not according to the christian ask them I because they know about the judgment day they'll bring judgment the jesus will bring judgment upon his religion. religion because we have to take religious lens off they're, they're making god look bad they're teaching like for example your religion how there's a torture and hellfire where it means it's just a common grave Haiti, Sheol, um, you're making God like the church look, look evil like Jesus, like he needs a sword. How would you define evil? How do you define evil? Right, evil, torture is evil. Torture is evil. Is, evil. is, is killing evil? Right, no. killing is so killing. Penalty is it no, no, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, no, torture. I'm, I'm just saying killing. Torture. But you can torture up to the death point, but not kill him. He's, he's, you know what I mean? But he said torture. Like the slave in Exodus 20, 21. You ask what 21, 20, said, yeah. uh, torture. torture. Do you do you think there are wars which are justified? Um, absolutely not. If everyone absolutely by not Christ principles wow. um, and, and but are you a Christian? Okay, <laughs> make up your mind. It looks like you're all over the place. No, I, I, okay, I'll tell you so outright. The Bible is true, I believe. Okay, there is the one only. Do you believe true Jesus God. is God? Right, this is where I'm coming to. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So there is the only one true God. And who is that? Of, of Abraham, of Noah, um, which, as you mentioned, like you call him Allah, which means God. Yeah. But I, I found his name to be like the tetragrammaton, you know, Yehovah, Yahweh, Jehovah, which is separate to Jesus. There is okay. only one true God. And I, I'm in agreement with you. Right. So, what do you make of those uh, Yahweh killing all those people and asking Moses to destroy every male, every female, every infant, and just to keep the little girls who haven't slept with anyone? That means the virgin girls. What do you make of that? This is a direct command. Right. If you were a Trinitarian, it is a command from Jesus. If you believe in Yahweh, that is a command from Yahweh. He's saying he's a Unitarian. Well, I don't know where he's, he's, he seems to be all over the place. I'm saying a Unitarian. Unitarian. Okay, um, I don't like to use labels. The problem with labels is you get put into a, 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 a label box. In God's eyes, there is no labels. There is no, um, you know, um, you are a, a, a Christian. Because then there's division, as we've seen. Division amongst Identi the... Identifying people is a very important important aspect of a human society yeah, okay male, female. no 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 it's not just male and female you will have an identity crisis if you do not identify yourself with a certain culture or with a certain people because we as human beings we live in a yeah, society we, we don't live in a cave by ourselves you see no, what I mean no. so do not have an identity crisis by saying okay, that okay. labels are not okay, important no, labels are pretty important okay, yeah, okay. Can use let's get back to the yeah, question I asked yes, yes. what do you make of that atrocities that Yahweh has okay. advocated in the so Old Testament. Going back to even the previous, um, you know, questions we were talking about. All but I'm, 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 I'm more interested in this specific question. Yeah, yeah. I, by the way, are you aware of these atrocities that Yahweh, which you believe as the only true God, right. has advocated in the Old Testament? Has, has what, sorry? Advocated. Advocated. Yes. Uh, and what, what does that mean? Sorry, advocate. Means he he's the one who sanctioned it. Okay. And you want me to explain and, sanction yeah, as well? No, no, I, I'm okay. sorry. No. <laughs> Um, and can you repeat what he advocated? Okay, so Moses' time, yeah. there was actually a people called the Midianites. Yeah. By the way, Moses' wife was a Midianite, yeah. so he married a Midianite. Now God instructed him, san to, he sanctioned the killing of the Midianites. Everyone, every male, every female, yeah. every child, except for the girls who have not slept with another man. Okay? This was an injunction that Moses had to follow. Okay. What do you make of that? Okay. And he did follow it, by the way, okay. according so, to the Bible. Again, it is very connected to what we were talking about before, whether God allows torture and whether hellfire is a place of torment or whether hellfire is what it translates as, which is Hades and Sheol, meaning common grave. By the way, Hades is not hell. 
there's a difference. I uh, will come to that later. Okay, fine, but let's fine, let's fine. keep things in perspective. Yeah, yeah. Like America has the death penalty, okay, yeah. which I feel um, there's a justification if there's you know humane, if it's in a humane way, and there is. Um, you know, if the criminal, if it's justified for the death penalty, but when it comes to torture, like there's that prison in South America, um, is it called Guata, Guata Guantanamo Bay? Yeah, Guantanamo Bay. You know, there's criminals there. And By the way, the, would you not consider the, the electric chair to be torture? Yeah, <laughs> that so looks pretty that's torturous why I had to, to me. Clarify, it has yeah. to be a humane way. Um, but, but I didn't ask you about torture. I asked you about the atrocities that. The God that you believe to be the only true God okay. has I, sanctioned I other human beings okay, to commit. Your God is the same as my God. And as we clarified before, we both believe in the same one God of Abraham and of uh, Noah. Um, we, 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 and I believe in the same God as you. you. You call him Allah, which just means God, right? Well, it means it's his name. Yeah. It, just, it doesn't mean just God. It's a title, isn't it? Yeah, it, it means the only God worthy of worship. Okay. And by the way, the term Allah is quite unique. You cannot use it for false God. So unlike Elohim, yeah. which you can use for false gods, and, Yahweh. and for angels, and for humans. And Yahweh. Yeah? I think Yahweh is more unique, yeah. In the sense that he's only can, they only use it for the true God. However, the, the term Yahweh is not mentioned in the New Testament. Is Allah Yahweh. Ah, uh, no. For the reason not based on the okay. not so based the on the Testament, attributes. The Old Testament God is yeah, not based on the attributes in the Old Testament. Testament. For example, it says in Genesis 6:6 6, 6, that God regrets. God regretted the the uh, the, so, the creation of yeah, you, yeah. you, me, and all human so, beings. So, according to Genesis 6:6. 6, 6. So the God. Just one second, brother. So what, let's let's get back to the question about because you earlier said no no before you said you, you said you do not believe in killing in fact you didn't even believe in war you did not believe in torturing okay look I I will wait, wait, I will I will I will take on board if all of those were unjustified then yes or now you believe in a just war well God is sovereign God is sovereign God is sovereign yes but he wouldn't he wouldn't instruct injustice to people no, no, because that is no. exactly what I, would you would you in any way shape or form no. condone the killing of infants in any in any context absolutely not of absolutely course not. of course well, that's exactly what Yahweh instructed Moses right. to do right. and Saul right. to but, do but what, I, what I want to, yeah. what I want to say is in regard to Yahoo what did Allah, Yahoo, uh, Yahoo uh, that's a search engine Yahoo, Yahoo. Yahoo. Jacob. No. What do you mean? Yahoo. Uh, Job. Job. Yahoo. Oh, Ayub. Ayub. Oh, sorry. I was so, so far Yahoo. off. I wonder what was so that. So far off. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, more or less said that. What, what about Job? So, so did uh, did Allah sanction the uh, the the destruction of of his life, the taking away of all of uh, the things that he was in his yes, life? Yes, as a test. No, no, no. It was step by step. So he he sanctioned effectively the torture of uh, Job. Well, that was a disease that he had, okay. And we know that every disease, okay, is something that uh, is a test for the people in a way. So, by the way, you know that life of that was actually one of the things that is also mentioned in the Bible that God is uh, sorry again satan is challenging god yeah. that uh, this man job who is very righteous to you yeah. the re only reason he's righteous is because you god has given him all these bounties that you have given him children you have yeah. given him wives you have given him wealth but if, if all this is taken away then he will stop believing in god so that was a challenge, it's a challenge between, by Satan, by Satan, by Satan and, and Allah. to God Almighty, and, Allah, yeah. and God said, "No, that will not happen." So we've got we've got Allah and Satan working together to test out poor old Job, Job, uh, Job uh, who has done his best in his faith and belief, and God. No, no. Wait, what do you mean working together? Well, he they were against. Them. They were against. No, 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 no. They working together. They were. They're not working together. Yeah. They, so, I'm so leave you guys to chat ah. anyway. No. I'll, no, but I, I really wanted to. I really wanted to answer yeah. that question I'll, I'll about about the atrocities. I will answer yeah. it right now. The As killing I, of children in particular. Yeah, yeah. You guys mentioned several times by Yahweh to kill children right. in the Old Testament. Sure. What do you make of that? We have the same God. So we. No, we don't. We don't actually. This. We do. No, we don't believe in the 
in the in the Bible that you get your information about God from. But don't you don't you guys study the uh, Injil, the Torah? No, no, we don't have to. But what in fact, the Quran. Your faith, isn't it? Oh, we have to believe that they were revealed to certain prophets, but we don't have to read them. That's not something which is. Well, one of the pillars of the faith was to believe in them. That's all. To believe yes. in the Injil. Allah says, "Amen, Billahi wa Malaikatihi wa Qutubihi wa Rasulihi wa Diyaum Al-Akhir." Wa Qutubihi means to believe in His books, to believe in Allah, okay. to believe in the angels, to believe in the books, to believe in the prophets, okay, so if and believe in the life after death. Then um, you would believe in this wars or these atrocities. You no, 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 no. There's a big difference. So I can believe that Moses taught the Torah, but the Quran also tells us that. Whatever that the Jewish people were supposed to God, they actually failed in that and they changed words of God and they sold it for a measly price. Okay, so if it was so we believe that the Quran tells us that everything else is now irrelevant after the revelation of the Quran. So for us, all those books in the past are irrelevant for us to follow. Logical. Why? And the reason being is if Allah has asked you as a pillar of your faith to believe in that, even ask Muhammad, I believe, Muhammad was asked to um, go to the books before thee and the prophets for truth. No, um, read the words after that. It says the Quran is Al-Muhaymin. So the Quran is the one which decides, from the Quran we decide what is in the Old Testament and the New Testament that we have to believe and what we have to filter out. So the Quran is al muhammad the Quran is our filter basically. Yeah, but I'm but, but you're, you're still evading the answer, the question that I asked you. You have already admitted that you would never condone the killing of children. Am I right? Yes. Yes. And you wouldn't. And yes, no I wouldn't. But, you're, but, you're, people but in your Bible, God tells Moses to do it. What do you make of that? Right, but I'll go back to the same... The same um... My argument is the Torah that you believe, which says to kill children, is corrupted. That's my argument. But Simple my, as that. But, but, In fact, I get my argument from the Quran. Chapter 2, verse 79 says this. But that's my problem that you guys, is, you can't just cherry pick and say, well... We are not cherry picking. We are using the Quran as a criteria. What do you mean cherry pick? Cherry pick means I use my desire but, to pick what I like but, and to, I to so discard what I don't like. You're say, still evading the question I asked you. Why does... Right, all, by the way, you do not yeah. believe in the Torah because I as a Muslim reject it or accept it. So that's irrelevant. You believe in the in the Torah on the merit of the Torah itself. Am I right? Yes. Nothing to do with the Quran. No. Okay, so all my belief or disbelief. Right. So why don't you answer the question based on the merit of the of the Bible? Do you believe God sa sanctioned the killing of? But I've already answered. No, you the haven't. Question. I did. You I haven't. Did. What was your answer? Very clear that God is a God of love. He does not torture. Okay. Killing of children. Well, well, what? Where's your answer to that? Well, this is. I, I cannot answer that. I cannot. Do you condemn it or do you condone it? Well, the we, killing we, of children. We, 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 by the way, it wasn't just one child. It was a mass massacre of children. No, you know how many? You know how many yeah. thousand girls they collected during the time of Moses when God sanctioned that? Right. Kill everyone except the virgin girls, right. except the girls who haven't slept with anyone. They collected thirty thousand. Sorry, thir thirty to thirty-two thousand. Yes, and I don't know how the soldiers were able to tell who was who slept with a man or who did not, who was a virgin or who was not. Right. Like you know how I, I assume they did that? By the age. Because at that time they used to get married at a quite an early age. Yeah. So anyone under 12 or 14, just they frank? would actually I just... just be frank with yeah, you? go on. I, didn't, I don't want to get into that subject. Because Why? Because it's something because. that you believe in, but you're not willing to even condemn it? No, no, I've already... Do you condemn killing of children in the Bible or not? I've said it no so many times already. No, in the Bible. Do you condemn the killing of children in the Bible? Um... Well... Well, go on. Why are you reluctant now? I, I cannot, because you said, I, you said earlier... Yeah. In fact, you said it without hesitation when I asked you. Do you... Yeah. Do you... Would you condone the killing of children in any context? Yeah. And you said, of course not. I, so this was without hesitation. Yeah, I, but what I feel yeah, now yeah. is because now that you have already admitted that you believe in the Bible, in the Old Testament at least, and you believe Yahweh is the only true God, but this only true God which you believe in, it's calling for the 
targeted killing of babies, mass massacre of babies. Okay. You will not find like this in the Quran or the okay. Hadith. Yeah. The targeting I, I, of specific babies, I didn't want to mass massacre. Point because as I've mentioned, I wanted to, what we are The reason you didn't want to mention it because you don't have an answer to that from the context of the Bible, my friend. If you were true to your principles, you would, without hesitating, like the way you did the first time, you would say, yes, I condemn it. But now it's come to something personal. You know, earlier when the two of you were having a discussion yeah, yeah, yeah. and you were talking about organized religions and so on, and then they have cognitive dissonance. Yes. In fact, you have cognitive dissonance now. Okay, well, that's you suffer your, from that. Well, it's your, it's your opinion. In fact, I think we all do to a certain extent. Uh, actually, and, speak and you, for yourself. Okay. Because if you ask me yeah. to justify something which I hold as a principle to be unjust, then I would. I would agree with you that you what you're saying is true. But, but since you haven't... I have agreed with you. What? I have, I have, have you agreed that the Bible calls for mass massacre of children is condemned? Okay, as I've mentioned, I didn't want to get into that subject because it is the same God. No, it's not. You keep saying that. It's not. Even though I believe that we all are we all creatures. The same of course, we all are created by one true God. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. But the way God has been depicted yeah. in the Bible yeah. is unlike Allah. Okay, so Allah doesn't regret creating yeah. human beings. The reason Yahweh why, yeah, does the reason in the Bible. Why I didn't want to get into Genesis that one six six. Was it is rather complicated. It's not. It's very um, simple. Killing of children, my friend. Oh, well, which you like which that wrong, disagreed with me yeah, exactly. Yeah, but when sure, when I asked you the sure. same question from the Bible, you were reluctant to answer, and you still are. Okay, so can I ask you a question? After you answer this question, do you condemn no, or condone the, same, the killing of babies the in the Bible? Part, okay, thing. go on. It's the same. If it's the same thing, go on. If I become a Muslim, yeah. Okay, um, and then I have my child, yeah, and my child doesn't want to believe in the Muslim faith, okay, yes. turns his back on them, and yeah. will God kill my child? No, God wouldn't kill him. Judgment. In fact, there are many atheists who disbelieve in Islam. In fact, there are many non-Muslims, sorry, many Muslims who have left Islam. And they are still breathing and eating no, and living a life. On judgment day, so come judge Oh, you're talking about the judgment day. Of course, on the judgment day, everyone, not children, by the way. Again, again, the ball is still in your court very much. Okay, because yeah, because in Islam we believe that children do not go to hellfire because on the day of judgment, Allah will not be unjust to anyone. Now, children, specifically infants. You know how old is an infant? Um, how old is an infant? Um, what, under five is it? Under two. Two, right. two and under right. is an infant. So if you were traveling and you had children yeah. under two, yes. you will have to pay a different airfare. Right. Yes, so your infant fare is different. I to... know that because my <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Tired. So that's why it's called an infant fare. Yeah. And that's why we treat infantly not the same way as an adult. Because obviously there's a difference between the two. So, so I wouldn't happen, question an so infant. What happen to a two year old? They, they will go to paradise. Right. Yes, Allah has destined paradise for them because a child is not capable of distinguishing and between right and wrong yeah. and from my at that age. Yeah. So can I answer you then? So from my answer me, do you condemn the killing of infants? No, so I'm, I'm going to answer you. Okay. From the Bible, yeah. yeah. So I, from my studies of the scriptures, I believe that we have a God, which is our, well, you, you, we won't go there, but God is a just God, so there is no torture, so if there's an infant that dies, they're asleep, they're asleep, so when a church... What do you mean they're asleep? Okay, so dust you are to dust... I don't know, you have read the Bible. In the Bible, in 1 Samuel 15... Can be awake. Wait a bit, in 1 Samuel 15, 3... In fact, they were told to torture every single male, female, infant and child, even the oxen and the donkey and... To torture? To kill them with a sword. Okay, so, okay, so you said... What do you mean, okay? You do not, when you kill, when you kill someone, when you kill someone with a sword or a gun, yes, it doesn't mean they sleep peacefully. <laughs> if that is your thinking, then you are far away from the reality of this world. No, By the way, don't try to sugarcoat something that is already Sorry. wrong. Sorry? Do not try to sugarcoat something that's wrong by saying they were asleep, not, they were put to sleep. I don't know what. No, I, I was what were you trying to say? About I, what? I was just generalizing about who our God is. As I've mentioned. No, but I asked you a specific question. It wasn't a general question. Okay, I know God is just. Yeah. Okay, but what I, when I read the Old Testament and the New Testament, I do not find him to be just. Specifically, if he calls on other people yeah. to kill and target infants and mass massacre children. Well, as I've mentioned, I, I didn't want to get into that, but we just of course you didn't. 
No, only because it is a big How can you say a God is just when he, when he actually commands other human beings? No. To, to go to every Original door and Irish, kill yeah. everyone Irish in the household. The subject was, even as an adult, yeah. if there is a place of torture and hellfire, I, I'm saying outright that is wrong. And that's the God I know from the, from the scriptures, that there is no place of torture. Do you believe in the New Testament? At all. Do you believe in the New Testament or just the Old Testament? No, all of it. Of all of the Bible? Absolutely. Okay, there's an eternal hellfire in the Bible. There isn't. Uh, Revelations 20. Have you got the Bible on you? Okay, so... No, no, read it no, no, if you don't believe me. Know our scriptures, so yeah, I'm, unless you're a Jehovah's Witness, because they do not believe in an eternal hellfire and, and uh, what do you say, uh, I think, torture. So I think they're correct. Well, I think they're correct. Then, then the mainstream Christian is the main, which is like, I would say, majority of the Christians. The Jehovah's Witnesses do not believe um, in an eternal hell and so on. But you see, this is the question. Mm. Do you believe Hitler will go to heaven one day? If he will go to heaven, of yes. course not. So where will he go? To the common grave, which is hell. Okay. Which is uh, he will be dead, and he'll be dead forever. Oh, so there's no torture at all. I there's no punishment there is, at all. Well, the punishment is the death penalty, and that's what. Well, what do you mean death penalty? Everyone dies, whether you're a believer or disbeliever. Yeah, and I think how that is that there the is penalty? A God of love. Uh, that's why I was talking about like um, you know. This no, I really want to know. Do you believe that? That what itself is, is punishment. The purpose of um, making someone in a fire and torturing them forever and ever. It's like my children. If they're that rebellious, like, I wouldn't keep their hand in a fire. Like, they will learn nothing from that. You know, and, and God wants to teach us in a loving way. But this is, you're talking about the afterlife. The teaching happens in this world. Yes. There are two different Correct. worlds. Correct. Okay? Correct. By the way, your body belongs to you or to God? Um, okay, so ultimately, um, we, our, our body's been given to us by God. Okay. But we, we, in this life, who, whom does it? Who's a, who's the owner of your body? Uh, of course, us. So we, you or God? Well, it's Are a you good sure? question. Think about it's a good it. Question. Yeah, yeah think about question. it. Yeah, we obviously. Because I believe, the, I believe God is the owner of everything, yeah. including I you and me. Well. Okay, no, I do as well. I okay, so once again, that's the ultimate if, answer. If God is the owner of you. Yes. Then